What's going on everybody? Feral Black, I'm bringing another review. This time it's of the SH Figure Art Super Mario figures. Um, actually it's not figures, it's just one figure. It's uh, Mario as you see right there. But he does have a few of, um, I don't know if you would call them accessories or dial pieces. Uh, as you see the pipes, uh, bricks and whatnot. I'm going to be going over all of this stuff. Um, so I think it's pretty cool to have all of this stuff. So uh, I'm going to get some of it out of the boxes. We go over the articulation, scale, and a little other stuff and see if we can wrap this up. Okay. Here we have the figure and the accessories out of the packaging. And um, it's a pretty cool figure. Um, it stands about, uh, I want to say, four inches tall. Yeah, but, yeah, about four inches, give or take. And uh, these are the accessories that it comes with. Um, you get the coin here that's painted a nice uh, metallic gold color so that's pretty nice it also comes with that little stand that's on the bottom it's removable uh, mushroom here and the mystery prize box or whatever and this is Mario let's move this stuff to the side and uh, get to the articulation well first I want to note that this is it's a pretty nice figure I mean the the paint scheme, everything, you know what I mean? It's just nice. Look at the, uh, there's no slop. But this, it is a figure arts figure, so you know, what do you really expect? Um, articulation-wise, the figure, the head goes right and left. Now, it seems a bit restricted. What you need to do is, is wiggle it around a little bit, because it's on this ball, this ball um, hinged type thing or whatever, and you know, it moves back and forth like that. But um, you can kind of manipulate that around, lift his head up a little bit and get it to turn like so and lift back and well it doesn't go forward much because you know of his big belly. Uh, his arms go up to about there because his face is so big and his hands are so damn big it's, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, his arms only can go out to about there so that's all you're going to get with this arm movement. Uh, the elbows bend like so but the joints are really well it, they're, they're hidden really well um, you have the swivel at the wrist um, now his legs they go up to about there um, they go up got a good range of mo uh, motion going upward you have a bendable knee and the feet are on a ball so they swivel back and forth move up and down you know all that good stuff and um that's pretty much it articulation wise um you do know that they have a if you look at this back panel it comes out put your finger in there and you can pop it out that's for stand now i know it's kind of funky looking but um once you get into the um, accessory pieces and the diorama pieces or whatever, they have different stands and I think they'll be pretty well hidden. Shouldn't really have a problem with them. So, But the paints and plastic and everything is nice on these figures. I do want to note that it does, it's a bit hollow, but I think it's because of the inner workings of the, you know, the joints and everything and the fact that the stand goes back there. So, His hat is not removable. He doesn't come with alternate faces or heads or anything. It's just that. And I believe his hands are able to pop off. Yeah, they are. Because one of the sets has an extra hand set or whatever. So That's Mario. And um, I will pop open a couple of these sets. And we see how they work well with Mario. And if everything pans out. Okay, now these are the pipe accessories. Um, 
it comes with a bunch of little stuff um, another coin another um, small base for the coin now you have a small base and you have a tall base smaller base then you have this taller base here for the coin now I'm guessing that the taller base is to represent if he hits a brick and knocks the coin up before he collects it um but that's you know that's pretty cool then you have a bunch of these little pieces I want to go down here and show you you have a bunch of these little pieces I'm going to get into what they actually do they all have to do with working the stand that comes with the other set so we're going to get into that a little later but uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the turtle shell now there is no turtle duck I forget what that thing is called but it's you know it's not there it's just pretty much the shell after he you know hops on it and you know so but it's, it's nicely painted I, I really like it um, besides that you have a Goomba here he's not articulated at all but he is nicely painted it's just a, it's a little stand piece and you know I guess you can have him walk around outside the the pipes or whatever you know um, he comes with alternate hands now this set here is the only set that has hands you gotta get this set in order to get these hands and these hands are used to hold the um, turtle shell so he's gonna pretty much be able to hold the shell like so and I'm gonna show you what the like I said those pieces what those pieces have to do with the hand and the inside of the shell so. but before we get into any of that we're gonna get into the pipes now you can do one or two things with these pipes you can have Mario have them as two separate pipes you know here comes Mario you know or what you can do is is because this pipe here is deeper in he's able to actually go like he's going down or coming out of the pipe versus this pipe here he would be all of the way out of the pipe so what you can do is, is you just grab it pop this top off you can take this whole entire piece and stick it in so side like so. Then you just spin it around slightly till you find where the, the, the notches are. And bam. So now he's inside of the taller pipe as well. That's pretty much what you can do with it. So you can either, you know, have a short pipe or have a long pipe. And I think that's pretty nice. You know, it gives you a little a couple little options there. And that was one of the reasons why I went ahead and bought two sets of each. Now, as far as these hands go, just take Mario. Make sure you grab, you know, at both points. You know, they came off pretty easily, but I, I really don't want you guys to break, you know, your import figure by manhandling it or whatever. You know, you have to really be careful with these figures. And um, kind of just twist and try to get that on. The pegs are slightly tighter, and I suspect that's because they don't come on the figure, so they haven't been moved around as much. You know, I'm not even sure if they were actually even tried on the figure before packaging them or whatever. So, you, know, you want to be kind of careful. Let's see. I guess I got that one in pretty good. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but inside, yeah, you probably can't. Inside this turtle shell, you're going to have, it's like a square groove or something. I, I don't really know how to describe as like a little hole or whatever and you can plug these on the inside of the turtle shell like so and that in turn will plug into the hand so that's pretty much how you're going to have to get them to hold the um, the shell or carry it you, you know how it is if you play the Mario Brothers games you find the Right where it plugs into the hand there. Let's just get into this other one. And that's pretty much how he has to hold the turtle shell. I mean, it, it works pretty nicely, you know. Gives you the illusion that he's, you know, running with the turtle shell. So I'm going to stand up. You know. I mean, I definitely, I would never pose them like this, but I'm just, you know, showing you guys. So, that's pretty much what you get with that set. 
Um, you also you get these two pieces, which primarily do the same function, but it's like if you want to make it to like he's carrying it in a different manner or whatever, you use that for, you know, for that. But that's pretty much it. I want to get into this other set, and then I want to conclude this this review and you know show this stuff off all together and so you guys can make a decision if you know if you want to really invest your money into these sets or not now with this second set you get another Goomba you get the two bricks another mystery box another coin you get the actual back panel piece here for Mario's stand and you get a connector piece that's clear I'll show you guys how to use it you get a long stand you get a green platform with multi holes you can pop these holes out here and um, change where the stand goes you get a um, articulated stand you have a long stand for the coin and a short stand again now pretty much what you do is, is this you take these pieces there's a hole under the bottom and you just plug them in like so I mean all of these things have them you can plug these things in anywhere you want them to go wherever you want them to go pop them in like so that's still a hole there still a hole under there now what you can do is is you can use this long stand which has the same shape and you can plug it straight in under the bottom it goes into both and that's pretty much what you can do now I want to set this whole thing up for you guys and um, show you guys you know a little scene or something you can actually create with Mario and everyone and see if you guys like this stuff and um, while I'm arranging it here I'm gonna flash out and flash right back okay here's a quick little setup um, this is using two of each of the dial sets like I showed you in the beginning of the video and I mean you know it's just something quick but I mean the possibilities are pretty much endless in setting up your own Mario world especially if you get enough of these sets I mean you know you can have bricks on the ground like I have them bricks suspended in air you know the coins I mean it's just so much stuff you could do I mean they give you a lot of accessories I mean it's it's pretty affordable you, you know especially when you pit it against some of the import prices or whatever I mean but then again it's just Mario so I don't really know how far you want to really go in you know get into that world or whatever but um uh, this is just like a quick setup or whatever just showing all the stuff off to you guys so um as far as recommending it if you're into Mario I, I think it's pretty cool it's really it's really you know a lot of fun and I'm not even using all the stuff that they get they gave me you know it still stands I still have if I go over here I still have Goombas and mushrooms and I, you know I still have stuff I haven't used so you know I, I think it's really nice it's really nicely done so definitely if you're into Mario and you, you know you like this stuff or maybe if your girl's into it and you, you guys share video game and comic stuff you maybe pick her up a set or something but um I'm not going to try to sell you on it That that's about all I have to say about it so with that being said this is Feral Black and as always peace and love